everyone in the Coderina community is so nice and open to helping uh, people upskill. The difficulty on Coderina is like getting harder because more people are coming on and um, finding those bugs. So uh, you may not get that, uh, you know, in terms of monetary awards, it might be a bit low and you might think, yeah, this is not really worth my time doing it. But uh, I think you should just think of it as a learning opportunity. Like uh, as if you find like a medium severity or a high severity bug on Code Arena and you're on the leaderboard, uh, that goes a long way. Like auditing firms, when they're looking to hire people, they they really value that Code Arena uh, leaderboard and experience, which uh, th that was what I found when I was speaking to um, auditing firms. Um, I spoke to a uh, recruiter uh, that was uh, recruiting for uh, smart contract auditors and uh, I showed him my CV and I had like Coderine experience as like one of the, uh, one of like a bit lower on my CV. And then he actually came back and he said, I put it like right up there, uh, like at the top. <laughs> so, so people could actually see what, what you're ranking on Coderina and how many findings, how many mediums and highs have you found and that experience uh, because auditing firms are really starting to um, value that uh, bug bounty experience, I suppose, um, just on the leaderboard. But that really is like building up your uh, your portfolio. Like like if you're a developer, right, you, you'll be building like a, a portfolio website showing the sort of projects that you did. But for auditing, uh, it's pretty much like your previous findings, right? Uh, that is your portfolio if you're trying to get a job as an auditor. You know, audit firms, they, they love that Coderine experience. And another thing I would say is uh, do like boot camps. Um, if you saw the interview I did with Jackson, he mentioned uh, Y Academy, Securium, uh, those two are really good options that you can look into. Uh, Securium is super easy to join. Um, there's no like barrier to entry. You just join the Discord. You have to rank. Uh, they call it a race. So they do that every month. Uh, they do a little quiz. And if you rank top 32 on that quiz, uh, you'll get to participate in some private audits where they sort of guide you through um, uh, that they'll have like a senior auditor uh, guiding like like 10, 10 or so people through an audit. I did one of those. That was really good. Uh, just learning the process of uh, how uh, some of the senior people uh, do their audits. And uh, Y Academy is something uh, Jackson talked about. So you can apply to Y Academy and um, essentially the same process. I'll, but you, it might be a bit harder to get into Y Academy because they... They require you to do like an interview and you have to like hand in your CV and sort of apply. So look into those two if you want a bit more like interactive uh, learning opportunities because yeah, I guess one thing on Code Arena is um, it's a bit hard. If you're like by yourself, like for me, I'm just auditing by myself and sometimes it's a bit harder to learn. Uh, all you can sort of rely on is just relying on the previous the previous uh reading the previous reports on code arena and there's a time lag to that right so when the audit contest finishes you have to wait sometimes up to a couple of months before the audit report comes out and then by that time uh you already kind of forgot the code base and then you when the report comes out you have to like try, try to rem try to remember like what even was this code base when you're reading the um reading the report uh but if you find a high a severity finding on Code Arena, you can join their backstage um, role. So what happens is you can um, see the see the findings that other people submitted straight away after the contest finishes. So that way, the code base that you are reviewing is still fresh in your mind. And as soon as that audit is finished, you can look at what other people have found. And that is probably a much more a valuable learning experience because this, everything is still fresh in your mind. Also, I would recommend looking into Sparebit. They are actually um, letting a lot of people uh, have the opportunity to join in the sense that 
uh, they they have a new uh, a new like onboarding process now where uh, the people that apply they are giving um, giving you guys a a quiz that's fifty minutes long and you have to answer sixty percent of the questions correct and if you manage to do that they'll give you a culture interview which is just sort of like a greet and meet and then just to um, just to sort of understand uh, where uh, you're coming from. I think the opportunity is there potentially to join Sparebit. So I, I would, like, even now, I would just throw your applications into Sparebit. Um, I am currently in an audit with Sparebit um, at the moment, and it's been really good, like, interacting with people there. Uh, they've been sharing, like, learning resources during the audit and we've got a, a senior auditor um, guiding um, I think seven or eight uh, juniors through an audit and, and also you get paid for spare but like a fixed wage so that's that's obviously really awesome man. Um, so yeah like boot camps Y Academy Securium spare bit look into those uh, keep going on Code Arena uh, yeah, compete as a team, sort of help each other out. Yeah, I, I think you two are in a really good position. Like, I, I wouldn't put too much pressure on yourselves, honestly. Um, there's there's plenty of time, I think. There's plenty of time to upskill. Um, the next bull market is still probably, like, my guess is probably going to be still, like, two to three years away. Uh, so, like, two years of solid upskilling on Code Arena and like applying to other uh, sort of boot camps around a Y Academy, a Securium, you're going to be in a very good position um, once the opportunities um, sort of start uh, coming through again. 